Huge developments that are coming in from Delhi. It seems it's students versus the government. The storm over the BBC Modi documentary has now engulfed India's university campuses. From Delhi to Chennai to Kolkata, students on a warpath as university administrations try to block the screening of the film. In Delhi, it started with JNU, it went on to Jamia and now at Delhi University's arts faculty. Students were detained, dragged as they tried to watch the documentary. Azadi slogans versus Jai Shri Ram slogans. Clashes. And protest after protest. The row over BBC documentary on Prime Minister Modi is escalating. After JNU, Jamia, Jadavpur, Hyderabad and other universities, a showdown broke out in Delhi's Ambedkar University. The left workers planned to screen the controversial documentary, but just before that the power went off. A repeat of JNU. Power off, protests on. Azadi slogans were raised, and soon after, Jai Shri Ram slogans were chanted in retaliation. At uh, Ambedkar University right now, it's a complete showdown between the two ideologies. On one side, you have the left-leaning organizations such as SFI and ISTA sloganering against the admis uh, Ambedkar University's administration's attempt to stop the screening of the BBC's controversial documentary. So they are uh, raising slogans such as Azadi and Halla Bol. And on the other side are the right-wing student group who are raising Jai Shri Ram slogans in response to the uh, protest of the left-leaning organization. So clearly a political dangle, an ideological dangle at Ambedkar University. Initially, when we started the screening, the administration, uh, they came here, the proctor came and, they, and he said, he announced basically, he threatened the students uh, that this documentary won't be screened here. We bought a projector to screen it, uh, but the electricity was cut off. Security was deployed within campuses like the Ambedkar University to ensure no untoward incident took place. Look, this area is to maintain peace and tranquility. It is our responsibility to maintain our police. That's why we are going to go. Did anyone from the university call you? No, I don't have anyone from the university. Not just Delhi, screenings are happening across the country. And it's increasingly turning violent. The cadre of the Grand Old Party and Saffron Party clashed in Tiruvannandaburam after a BJP worker tried to tear the screen and disrupt the film screening. <laughs> Similar scenes were seen in Hyderabad on Thursday, where SFI clashed with ABVP workers. The political war is also at its peak. Narendra Modi and his past have been tainted. The people of India very much know that. Maybe to the Westerners and for, to the international community, this is a new revelation. He was completely complicit, uh, completely in connivance with the uh, rioters while he was the chief minister. Pakistan sponsored the BBC documentary, which was going to be a lot of फिर से उन्होंने दिखाया है केरल के बीच पे ये साफ दिखा रहा है कि राहुल गांधी जो भारत जोड़ो यात्रा पे निकले हैं वो भारत जोड़ो नहीं है भारत तोड़ो यात्रा है द कंट्रोवर्सी ओवर द बीबीसी मोदी डॉक्यूमेंट्री कंटिन्यूज टू स्नोबॉल एंड यूनिवर्सिटी कैंपसेस हैव नाउ बिकम द साइट ऑफ एंडलेस प्रोटेस्ट एंड पॉलिटिक्स विद अमित भारद्वाज इन डेली ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे